Swamp Fox here in Swamp Fox World. That's right, this is my world I built a long time ago, and I've been building and adding to it my little mini castle. And I want to take you on a tour on where I have learned to play Minecraft. Craft, 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 craft. Okay, it really doesn't echo like this. But here I am, I am Swamp Fox, and I'm welcoming you into this world. And I want you to see all the wonderful things I've built and made. And I've got a little uh, pumpkin here growing on top of my roof because I thought it was neat. And I was learning how to do different things and make different patterns and build different areas. But this is my mini castle. Not much of one, but hey, I've experimented with carpet and getting many different uh, resources over the time, over the years. And... I need to put away some of the stuff here so I can at least have some stuff out, out, of, out of my pockets. Well, I think I'll take it with me because I want to show you some of the areas I've been building. Oh, there's my little sh my little animal pit and I've dyed some sheep so I can get different colored wools. Nice little living room. I have need to fill it in a little bit more. I wanted to make a kitchen space, but I did make this really cool bench and table. Nice little entryway where people can come in. Beautiful little area. A uh, little secret. I think I'm going to put a little... Uh, I need to do that. This is what we're going to do here. Real quick, we're going to make a painting. Do I have the materials? What all do I need? I need sticks and I have wool. Do I have in my inventory? Not enough wood. Well, no, we do. Plenty of wood, plenty of sticks. Now let's make a painting. Painting. Is this painting? This is a painting. So we're going to take and put a painting right here. Oh, you know what? we got to have signs. Got to have signs. Do we have stuff we need? Oh, we don't have enough blocks. Oh, all oh, the things you need here in this world. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to uh, build signs real quick. I want you to see what my world looks like. I'm going to build a painting, hide that spot. I've never even thought about doing that before until now. What was that? Oh, that's my own inventory. I have wood around here somewhere. Dirt. I need paintings. I need paintings. No. Uh, you know what? Throw some so uh, that down. That's not going to do any good. I wonder if I have the woods down. Wood that woods. I have woods. If I have wood down in this chest. No. I have another. Well, we need to go get some wood real quick. that right out this area look at this this is my little fire pit area eventually I'm gonna go to nether get some stuff and make this a fire pit area last time I tried it though everything was catching on fire hopefully I've got it built out enough so it doesn't but this is a little neat little area I can sit and enjoy and converse with friends and when we're not conversing we can come over here and play badminton or volleyball got a little volleyball beach court here and uh, just like that go swimming in the lagoon just a lot of fun and you got a little small kitty air kitty pool area oh and I've got a little um, nice hidden spot right here where you can come and jump and oh, just come in for a nice easy lazy this is a little kind of a warm spring area a little enjoyable spot there let's go find some wood real quick don't need much wood, just need a, a block or so. There we go, have some wood. There we go, that's all we need. It. Just that little spot right there, that should give us plenty. Oops. <laughs> um. Oh, I just messed that all up. We'll see if that was enough now. I need to go make a painting. Back in here, I got a little lava pit area, and that's what warms the warm spring area. Where we stay nice and warm. There used to be at this spot right here. That's where I built down into a mine shaft. But now I have a new place for a mine shaft, and I'll show you that momentarily. Can I make a painting? Or can I make signs? Signs. We need to make signs. Yes. Perfect. Alright, got some signage. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let me put some sign right here.
Why can't I put signs down? Oh, oh. I know why. I need to go down here. Oh, I hate to do this, but gotta get rid of this carpet. I don't need so much of a carpet in there anyway. There we go. Let's put the let's take this sign down. Put it on this side. And painting. Voila. Where's the painting? There's the painting. Voila. No, that doesn't work. Voila. Where'd it go? Where did it go? Where did my painting go? I just picked it up. I, oh no, it went in here. <laughs> I thought I picked it back up. Voila. No. Voila. No. Voila. The painting. Where did it go again? Where does it keep going? I lost my painting. Where did the painting go? Ah, I picked it up, I think. Where did it? No. There it is, behind me. How did it get there? Weird. Strange. Strange happenings. Come here. Voila. There we go. Don't cross into here because it's spotter territory. Alright, anyway, we have a nice little hidden spot there. That's where I can hide some of my more valuable valuables. And I can put uh, this uh, iron up here. I have lots of gold and I have some other things that are kind of valuable to me there. And in here we have our little mini garden where I can get some food if I need some. I do need to go ahead and take some carrots out. Put some more carrots here. And in this spot, and we have our little animals here. Our chickens, they lay our eggs right here. They always like hanging out there. I, one time, all these animals used to be together, and then I tried to separate them. It became really difficult. I was able to get some of the sheep in that area, and then the cows tried to get over there. It was very, very difficult. So let's try to get some more baby chickens. Nope, no more baby chickens. That's what I use that for. So let's go ahead and eat while we're over here. And, oh, go ahead and close that door. Animals just, uh, it took me a long time to get grass over there because all of this is built over top of water. This is all built on top of water. And there wasn't any place here. If you look under here, there's little uh, pylons I had to create. This right here was a structure I built down and just kept adding and building and adding and building until I hit bedrock. Or not bedrock, but the, uh, the first layer of ground and then I made it and I created a wonderful little uh, way down to this awesome mine shaft and you come all the way down into this beautiful cavern and as I was digging I found that little hole there I'm not going to show it to you yet alright close your eyes ready reveal uh, this is what I found this beautiful cavern and I began to mine it and just do all kinds of stuff. I'll show you the mine in another episode or another video. But this is this was just a lot of fun building this up and creating a wonderful world underneath the world. And the mine shaft is so huge. It's amazingly large and big. So I'll have to show that to you sometime. But in here I have another portal. And here I can get in here. I have my books. I'm still building bookcases. Still working on that. Over here I have an anvil, which I learned that when you begin to see the cracks up here, you've used it too much, and they eventually disappear. I did not know that about anvils, but the anvils do disappear over time. All right, so this is this part of the world. This is actually not even the first part I built. This came a lot later, and I've spent uh, days building this railroad road so I can get to my original place and we're going to show you that to you now and we're going to build along here and I put power rails to make this quicker as you see it's a swampy area foxes kind of live in those kind of areas uh, didn't build those close enough did I there we go we're getting going now it's a little swampy area I want to show you a little friend who's been here forever he never leaves. He's right there. Little black sheep. He's been on that island forever. He never leaves it. He's just always there every single time I go by. So it's the one thing that has not despawned in this area. I come down here. Let's see if I can actually exit in the right way. Uh, there we go. Actually exit it correctly this time. 
see I keep extra carts around and other things and it's getting dark so now we're gonna have to make a mad dash to my world I built a little bridge that was natural I dug out some things in there and this is the outside of my world where I originally started in this area and I built a nice little fence so the little uh, mobs can't spawn in or at least spawn they can spawn out there but hopefully they can't get through that gate I've kind of flattened this area out because I'm going to start building some more stuff in here and this is my original castle and I, I this is where I experiment I come here to experiment this is where I try new things build up new things I've got animals everywhere uh, this is still not my original area I'll show you the original area here shortly but I came out here there didn't used to be anything out here except uh, lots of mob spawning so I finally got my first bow and arrow and I would shoot them from up here it was a lot of fun so it's just kind of like a shooting gallery for a while and this is my little G room I can come up here and sleep I've slept in this room many many times it didn't used to have glass glass top it used to be all a little solid but here I have my nice little porch a little carpeting outside carpeting so it's nice and comfortable to walk out on you know this gravel I mean this this granite and I mean not granite this cobblestone gets a little hot sitting in the sun so it's nice having something like a little refreshing to walk out on so I can close this area up that's just a little gatekeeper house I had my original garden this is my original garden and now there is a village not too far that direction I'll show you those guys later and how I get to there but that's where I borrowed some of their food and had a little co-op going there this is my original home it started right in this area this right here used to be nothing but a mountain and I dug a little hole it was about this size right here and this is where I lived and then I began to expand I have some animals now and I need to probably dye their stuff I still have plenty of things over here where I've been building and and collecting I got all these little enchant books I have no idea what to do with them I've tried to use them before and I just don't know what to do with them maybe somebody could leave me a comment to say hey dude you need to uh, do this with them is this something that's raw so let's cook that up so I can come back for that later but this I decided to start building out this originally used to be my original mine shaft right up under here and I'll show you that here my original mine shaft and then I put a door on it and it goes down into there I'll show you the mine shaft next time but here's where I keep some of my valuables not super value valuables but I do have a few valuables in there you don't really know it's there unless you you know of course not everybody's seen it then I built this floor up and I decided to make this a nice little lobby area I don't know what I'm gonna put in here yet I need to you know spruce it up but then I also wanted a chapel so I built a chapel there's a church chapel beautiful chandeliers and I can come up here and tell people Bible stories and tell people about the things I enjoy in life and have a little beautiful little chapel and people come and they gather and they sit and they enjoy it and they have a good time and we can come out here and look on to my world this was all added in, in time I built these big walls because I just couldn't keep the mobs out I built this little area here to try to keep them out that's my first little beacon tower to help me find my way around when I begin to explore huh didn't realize I did that to that tree I need to cut it down so it doesn't die but this is my original area and this these are my original walls I built them up over time I started losing a lot of animals didn't understand why but I didn't realize after so many area uh, after uh, building such a big area they could actually despawn so they were despawning I thought they were escaping for a long time I built this little bridge over out here that way I could come out here and look because I used to get a lot of creepers in this area I used to look here and check make sure there weren't any creepers and then I'd walk out my doors actually used to be gates yeah. hello you 
I'm fixing to become dinner. Right, this is the world I built and slowly been building on. I've added some pathways, learned how to do some different pathways. Learned that I can keep so many animals in a little pen area. And I keep them there all occupied and in, in that area. And I grow some stuff here. I'm waiting for this uh, pumpkin to grow back out. I haven't found watermelon yet. Need to find some melon. Experiment with different uh, building areas. A little nice little room here. I need to fill in the ceiling. Not sure if I'm going to put a second floor in here or not. Uh, experiment with different types of buildings. A little soul sand working work going on here. And I have to get some more uh, black wool. This is going to be my Halloween house. I got to get more white wool because I'm going to close this this area in because I keep getting things spawning in there. Uh, got to be careful because I do get a lot of different things spawning in these houses. Even though I have put plenty of torches down, I need to come in here and put a different uh, roof in here. I mean, flooring in. But there's a nice little area and I can build over to this the house over here. We just went in the first floor there a moment ago. And I have a little, uh, I'm building a little mic, a little, uh, what do you call those, uh, oh, not dens, but little, uh, places where you can put the, um, your cellar, a cellar. I built a cellar. This right here is my first fountain. I thought it was fun. I found this, uh, moss stone and, in, in a spawn area and I brought it back and it became that. This right here is a nice little area. It's a little room I need to build better flooring in. And I built smooth stone. Then I built this little spot up here so I can come and look out and see and if I need to escape quickly I can come over to this roof and jump and I can escape quickly if I need to. I haven't needed to so wait, there's the stairway right there. Here. But that's on a quick quick escape route if I ever need it. Got my little street lights. I love those, those are fun. And got plenty of street lights and I'll tell you about that here in a moment. Here I tried, I really did. I tried tried to build a little fireplace, but everything kept catching on fire no matter what I did. So I just put torches in there. Looks better. It's nicer. I sleep out here every now and then. I got a nice big attic where I experiment with different roofing, different ma building materials. I haven't done flooring yet, working on that. Um, as you see, I'm just trying to learn how to build and, and do different things, flat roofs, up pointy roofs and stuff. This right here is my mob spawner. I found one online and they drop, boop, and they die. That's pretty much all that is and I've got several things out of it. I've gotten the the, the uh, gunpowder, the bones, and the rotten flesh, and no, I didn't get a weighted pressure, pressure plate, but I've got string and all kinds of different things as they've come and they fall, and I've had them fall on me when I've done this before. Come here. Come here. Boom. Nope. This is where I built a little uh, community fireplace where we can come out here and join it and barbecue and just enjoy it. I've um, got to build some stuff out here. I built up the walls to try to make this a safe, secure area. We can go out this way if we need to, but there's no need to because I haven't built anything there. Can't get back through. I'll build up these walls differently later. But this is my world. This is Swamp Fox original world where I learned to build and create and I've tried to build different things, built a little area here just to enjoy. Oh look, we got a pumpkin in that hole, that little time there. Um, that just goes down into a mine shaft. And then I built a cobblestone generator. Finally, I just cut it out right there. Let's see, do I have pickaxe? Let's see how it works. <laughs> it goes, went right into lava that time. Try to get close enough to where it... There it goes. Now it's working. Not that I need cobblestone, but I wanted to build one. Again, this is where I experiment. This is where I find new ways to do that, do different things. My original mine goes up under here, and it ended up into this area somehow. 
this is my little pool area. I enjoy it. I built up and made it safer and I have walls all around my my place now. Out here is my path that goes out to my dock. I come out here to go fishing. Uh, this is a beautiful fishing spot. And I have caught lots and lots of large fish, small fish, all kinds of fish. This is my dock. I just built a dock out here. It was a lot of fun. Building it down, building little pylons. You can see the mob spotter from here. Alright, just a few more things to show you. Thanks for joining me in my new, my original world. And we're going to do some more adventures down in this area. This right here, I got tired of trying to find my way, so I built this road underneath the mountain. And I used the map. What I did is I found one point and found the other point, and I just kept digging until I found the other point and I just kept digging through here and some of the areas are a little larger than that because I actually found stuff to dig out and plus there was also some holes that I had to fill in and I dug and dug and dug and dug and dug until I reached this end I built a nice little bridge and a nice little place to ooh, I need to eat as you see there in the distance is, are, are some friends And this is where I originally raided. <laughs> I actually raided them and took all their stuff. So now we're going to do a co-op and I'm going to start bringing more food back. I built a little gravel and I just got rid of some excess materials. And it leads to this place. The guys are not that bad. They're pretty nice. Oh, nobody there. Oh, here we go. Hello. How are you doing? Haven't seen you in a while. And I'm going to come over here and plant some carrots, giving back what they have from what I have taken from them. And uh, yeah, I found this little place, and that was it. And no, that's that's just more of the swamp land. That's a really dangerous place now because it got become dark. But this is the nice thing about this: I found new ways to get around. Eventually, I'm going to light this path. So it's not as dangerous walking around. But at least I can find my way back easy. Easier. Nice. It's just beautiful at night. Out here in the, the desert. And sure, we get little spawns of different uh, unfriendlies. And with all the unfriendlies around, we have to be careful from time to time. But it's still nice and pleasant. I can come out here and look at the moon rise and look over this beautiful little area. You can do some fishing in this little in this little pond. I mean, a uh, riverway. And then when I want to be safe, I just come in here. It's pretty much de de mopfied. <laughs> I like making up words here in, go in uh, Minecraft. Yeah, you can bounce. It goes a little bit faster from what I hear. Not sure. And I can come in here. Turn this on. And I can close it from in here. That way, nothing comes in. I do get some stuff coming up from there from time to time. But this is Swamp Fox World. It's a totally different world from where the Ark is. Totally different world from all other things. And I'm going to do some different episodes in here. But this is this is it. This is my original uh, world. And I just want to take you on a little bit of a journey on it. I'll show you my mind here in the next episode. And you will see me build some stuff. We're going to practice building some things and trying some new redstone tricks. And I hope you enjoy it. This is Swamp Fox World. And I want to say that I am going to go over here and rest. Because this is my original home. Being here with my dogs. And I am home. Welcome to Swamp Fox, Fox, Fox's World. And I appreciate you stopping by. And I will see you all later. Swamp Fox out.